Five investigates tonight discovering thousands of ankle bracelets that are supposed to be monitoring accused and convicted criminals across Massachusetts are all being replaced. Investigative reporter Mike Bodette reveals this is just one of the controversial steps the state is now taking to try to fix the faulty electronic monitoring system in Massachusetts. It's after hours in the Massachusetts Probation Department's satellite office inside the Quincy Police Department is open for business. Since February, more than 200 accused and convicted criminals have traveled here from across the state when the courts are closed. Sex offenders, rapists, child predators, armed robbers, the list goes on and on. They're all coming for the same reason, a problem with their GPS ankle bracelet that's supposed to keep track of them. The state is having them go to Quincy unmonitored to have their ankle bracelets fixed or replaced. People that work at the bars work late, coming off their shift and having no idea of this, that's kind of concerning. The satellite office that's bringing accused and convicted criminals to Quincy is surprising news to people in this city. Well, I think they didn't tell the public for a reason. <laughs> I don't think they want the residents to know that there's uh, sex offenders and people you wouldn't want around your families and kids at night. The probation department opened the Quincy satellite office to try to stop ongoing problems with its electronic monitoring program. Problems blamed on poor cell coverage, which led a superior court judge to refuse to order anyone to wear an ankle bracelet. Northeastern University School of Journalism documented the extent of the problems last year, showing the state is losing track of hundreds of accused and convicted criminals every month. The public is left with a false sense of security while police are arresting accused and convicted criminals, even though they're at home right where they're supposed to be. I call these modern day ball and chains with a major defect. This woman is on probation and agreed to speak with us about problems with her ankle bracelet if we hit her identity. It had a weak signal to it and it kept going in and out and I received phone calls from the company where I had to go outside. If I didn't go out there, they would send the police. Do you worry that you could get arrested and not be doing anything wrong? Yes, oh, most definitely. The probation department declined our request for an on-camera interview, but tells Five Investigates it's in the process of replacing every single ankle bracelet worn by the 3,000 people it's monitoring with new equipment. But so far, only a small fraction have actually been switched out. Probation also tells us the collaboration with Quincy Police has been successful as there have been no incidents involving probationers utilizing the site. We're talking about sex offenders, child predators, armed robbers. Does that give you pause? It, it doesn't, honestly. Quincy Mayor Thomas Koch is also defending the program. Everything concerns me, you know, but uh, the reality is the way this program is designed and works is that uh, these are people that are in the system that are uh, continue to be in the system and have to behave or they're going to have a, a problem. The explanations bringing little comfort. Until they get the issues with these bracelets um, worked out, I just don't believe they should be used. Who's to say the new ones aren't going to be faulty if the old ones were? The probation department expects to roll out all those new ankle bracelets in the next few months. Despite all the problems, the state has been paying a lot of money to 3M Electronic Monitoring, the contractor providing the ankle bracelets. 19 million since 2012, nearly 7 million this year alone. 3M tells us it continually strives to improve its products and says the new ankle bracelets provide the most reliable coverage. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.